the one, two, three, the ones that matter in this. And Speeden, a qualifier, Douglas, a qualifier, Donaldson, a qualifier, as we said. Those three certainly through. Bradley must wait and see. So to the second heat. Marcellides of Cyprus right on the inside. Drummond of the United States drawn in two. Julian Golden of Great Britain in three. Atto Bolden of Trinidad in four. Frankie Fredericks of the Namibia in five. Eric Viermersch of Belgium in six. O'Brien Gibbons of Canada in seven. And Carlo Occhiena of Italy in lane eight. What a lineup and what a draw for Julian Golding when you consider that he has uh, three through by right to qualify. Drummond, well, he almost uh, got himself into trouble this morning by going out of his lane, looked as though he was being complacent, stuck his hand in the air, and he was trying to recover himself. But Julian Golding, the new European under-23 champion, the Black Youth Harrier, ran 20.49 in his heat. He did look good, but he's going to have to repeat that now. May have a bit of a headwind into the home straight, but he's on. it's about competition and not just time. Atto Bolden of Trinidad, less spectacular in the first round. He may have learned a little lesson from that 100 metres when he ran uh, sub-10 seconds in qualification and then it all went wrong in the final. He's taking his time. Let's see how he reacts this time. Frankie Fredericks outside him, the Namibian who won this title in 1993. Fredericks, silver medalist in Gothenburg in 1995. Viermers, the Belgians outside him, the Canadian Gibbon, and Carlo Ossiena, the Italian, the second in the Italian championships. First three go through. Okay. We'll start are not happy, as you heard yourselves. And they'll be called back. I don't think there's a false start, but there may be, because a reaction to the block can uh, set all the equipment off. And a yellow marker will be placed. And we're never absolutely sure whether there's a false start, because these days, as I've said several times, the athletes don't actually have to leave the blocks to have their false start registered. Dear Mersh in the foreground, but Fredericks, such a cool customer. He ran such a casual bend in the first round. Love it at this. Italian Oceana, best of 20.57 this season. Well, Drummond has got a good draw. You can see Bolden and Fredericks and chase them all the way around. And Julian Golding, a 22-year-old Briton, has got a lot to do here to qualify. Well, John Drummond's gone off brilliantly already. He's run down uh, Golding and uh, Frankie Fredericks is going well. So is Bolden, but Drummond's gone off very quickly indeed and may well come into the straight ahead. Fredericks is ahead. Drummond is there. Bolden is there. These three at the moment. Running away with it under, Drummond is looking across, and look at this, Fredericks, Bolden, and Drummond this time doesn't make a mistake, and Golding just sneaked through into four, fourth place, it's the third, first three plus four fastest losers, and it's 20.13, and uh, well, Golding recovered from what must have been a real shock over the first hundred or so metres, because he was totally and utterly run down by John Drummond inside him. Uh, Golding, what a talent he's proving to be, but the start wasn't good at all. He's waiting to have a look at it on the slow motion. It's, in fact, it's now up on the main scoreboard. Let's have a look ourselves. Look to lane three and look at lane two. Drummond went right past the Briton. Bolden went away from him, so he was in no man's land very, very quickly. And it looked to me as though he sneaked through to four. Fredericks had good control, running wide of his lane. Bolden this time playing it very, very sensibly indeed. Drummond had run the bend and then eased off a little and let the other two have a little battle together. Nothing too serious though. Fredericks from Bolden, from Drummond and Golding did get fourth and his time was 20.69. Well, we'll wait and see whether he's the fastest loser. That was uh, very useful because he recovered well from that. He beat some good people He's got a good chance. That's the fastest heat so far. They've had the best conditions because the headwind, 0.1. And the first uh, heat, over three metres again. Fredericks looks so comfortable. So comfortable and so easy. 20.13 like that. We'll have a look at the 
overall result in a moment. And there it is. Fredericks 20.13, easing down. Bolden 20.28. Drummond 20.59. And Golding 20.69. And he could well go through with that. The young man has done well.